Hey guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Dusty here from All Around Performance today. Today, you guys have already seen walkthrough videos, close-ups, shorts, longs. I've been through this thing a ton of times, a lots of videos. Check a look at the link, hopefully in the description if that's where that ends up. Uh, we are gonna take this thing on a durability test today. I think what's the best thing we should do with this is I would love to let you hear it, let you see it, Let's send it down some steep hills. There's a big old hole back here. That's right, camera person don't know, but we're going in there. Sounds awesome. There's some hills over here. We might even hit a creek. So let's take this thing for a ride so we can hear how it sounds, how it feels. I going to say how it looks, but I don't think that really matters, does it? No. All right. We'll see you guys soon. All right, let's start right off with turning the key on. You notice you got to wait. Oh, we might be in trouble. That's okay. That's what the entertainment's for. So you fire this thing up. It is fuel injected. You notice it immediately settles down to idle control. Super cool right away. It's got high and low gear. I'm going to start right out in low gear. Let's give it a low gear test and see how fast <laughs> uh, low gear goes. I'm really not going to go its max speed because obviously it's not safe. So... You notice low gear, three, four miles an hour. It's already moving right along. Good RPMs. This is going to be great for hills. I'm pretty excited about doing the test with the low gear speed here for the hills. So I got my foot pretty, pretty well into it. You notice 10 miles an hour, starting to get a little bit louder in here, but still tolerable. All right, looks like their low gear does approximately, what did that say, 16, 17? You guys seen it. All right, let's jump her down to high. Let's see how cruising speed is here. Immediately you notice it's a lot quieter. Oh, that is much better in the cockpit. You notice here it's nice and quiet, got lots of cobwebs, but 10 miles an hour, my foot is barely into it. It's cruising along really, really nice. It's not that loud. I start speeding it up here, see if we can get across the where are we going? Sorry about that, I'm the one driving. So about half throttle, about 16 miles an hour. Still pretty quiet in the cab. Don't see a lot of issues. Let's do a turning radius test, huh? All right. So let's start off with all the way to the left. Let's see if we can turn around in the circle. Oh yeah, typical golf cart. Look at that, nice and tight turning radius. All right. Let's see what we can get out of this thing here for a little bit more of a top speed. I don't think it's going to get up to top speed in this straightaway. All right. Three quarter throttle, 25 miles per hour seems to be right where that starting point is. But one thing I did notice is it was climbing. I think it had a lot more in it. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with what we like to call off-road test. Off-road test is gonna get us through the grass to see how it handles bumps, stuff like that. I've actually got a pretty good rough driveway right over here. Looking forward to testing this thing out. Let's see how it handles it. Stay tuned. Here we come. All right, you notice here this is this is what you call like a minefield. Nice and rough out here. Oh yeah, the independent rear suspension on this machine is really doing its job. I don't know if you guys can see it in this camera, but these dozer tracks are pretty bad. But you know what, it's holding it pretty good. I think it's doing really, really well. It's not bouncing me all over the place. Maybe the camera person, but that's okay. Oh yeah. I should go get a couple more people and put in this thing. This thing can definitely handle this, no problem. All right, let's give this thing a hill test. What do you think? Let's start out right over here. Passenger is more than welcome to get out if they'd like. <laughs> Passenger is definitely out of the vehicle, sissy. Anyway, let's get this hill test though ramp. Let's start out in low gear, and let's see if this thing's got an engine brake. 
Looks like it does not. That's okay. But with the brakes, it stops right on the side of the hill, no problem. All right. Let's see if this thing climbs this hill. Let's see what kind of effort it puts into it. As you can tell, I'm out here in the desert, the oasis. All right. I think we should give it a quality test here right at the bottom of the hill. Everybody's like, oh, 200 cc's. Is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. I've never done this before. We're about to find out. So I'm just going to ease into it with low. My foot's in at about 25%. Oh, yeah. This thing handled it no problem. Let's give it the backwards test. See how well she handles backwards. Oh, yeah. Yep. Looks like it's got nice brakes. All right. Just follow me around. Ready? Probably ready to record, aren't you? Well, that happens. Oh, my wife's going to bitch when she hears that. All right, you ready? All right, guys. What we're going to do today, more of the whole bouncy, roughy. You guys can see the wheels going up and down. You can see what the cart's going to do. And I'm here to tell you that this section right over here is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, oh, nice. Independent suspension is doing its job. Just really trying to prove a point of how rough the terrain that this thing can take. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Oh, let's do a little off camber. Let's see what kind of angle we can put this machine on. No worry, guys. I am a certified test driver. It's my job. You never know. You don't want to sell something that can't handle what you want to put your customers through. So, yeah, it's definitely rough, but I'm here to tell you that this terrain that I'm driving on is not the smoothest. Oh! You know what? This thing, it's not rattling, it's not clunking, it's not banging. I'm going to put this thing in low gear because I feel like I'm slipping the clutch a little bit here. So, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Suspension's doing its job. You can definitely tell the suspension is working. This whole thing is flexing really hard, but it's staying solid underneath my feet. But you can definitely tell that rear independent suspension is doing its job when it comes to one wheel going up, the other wheel going down. It's definitely allowing me to keep really good control of the wheel with the brakes, the gas pedals. You know, I'm telling you, if you got a campground that's got a driveway like this, you ought to be complaining. All right, guys, that will conclude my rough test. So I'm going to put it back in low, and we're going to head up this hill and see how she does. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. No problem at all. Low gear, check definitely how you handle hills. Well, guys, I think that pretty much sums up our video. We did some off-roading. We did some hills. We did some rough terrain, high-speed tests. We did a reverse test downhill backwards tests. If there's any other kind of tests you guys want to see us do on these machines, feel free to reach out to us. This machine right here, I say machine, but this golf cart UTV, we sell quite a bit of these with a metal box, with the golf cart rear end on it. We sell them in campgrounds. We sell them on the side of lakes, oceans, um, people, who, places where people are going to be driving these around and hauling people. As you can tell, because of that hill, this machine will have no problem pulling those hills with high and low gear. So, appreciate you guys watching. Check a look at the website for more information like this one. Allaroundperformance.com.